Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. This is user one productions. My name is David and in today's tutorial We're gonna be looking at a very simple little flashlight system as always you guys models Sound effects and scripts will be all linked in the description for you guys to download and use in your own game Continuing where we left off last time. Let's open up unity. This tutorial is gonna be much quicker than the rest It's a very simple script and very easy to set up. So let's get right into it right off the bat We want to open up our character controller and inside first person character right click and add a spotlight. We're going to rename that the flashlight. Right off the bat, let's change some of these values inside of this flashlight. Range, I'm going to change to 35. The angle, I'm going to change to 55. I'm going to make a warmish type color with uh, this orangey yellow type thing here. Something like that. And then I'm going to change the intensity to 1.25. I'm also going to change shadow type to soft shadows. And also inside of our editor right here, we'll notice we have a directional light. For testing purposes, I'm just going to change the intensity down to 0.25. So we can actually see what the flashlight looks like off the bat. If we press play real quick, we can see that our character now has a light attached to him and it will follow us around and everything. I'm going to download, click and drag the flashlight script into our scripts folder. I'm going to attach that to the FPS controller. Click on it, scroll down. Here it is. Before going on and setting everything up, I do want to open up the script just to show you guys what's going on in here. Up here at the top is everything we could play around with. We have a flashlight game object that we need to assign, a turn on and turn off sound effect, and then just some bulls telling us whether the flashlight is on or off. For testing reasons, I like to keep these two public, but you can always change them to private if you don't want to see them in the editor. In our start function, when the game first starts, we want the flashlight to be off, and we want flashlight to be set to false as well. Now, if in your game you want the flashlight to start on, you would change off to on, and then this flashlight.setActive would be true. In the update function, we pretty much say if the flashlight is off and we press down F, the flashlight turns on and our sound effect plays. And then else if we press F again, it turns it back off. Very simple script. Let's head over into our preferences real quick, the project settings right here. We need to make a new input, which we went over when we made this interact for the door the other day. All we got to do is go over here. We're going to add another size. I'm just going to add 25 because we're probably going to be adding a ton more inputs through this tutorial series. I'll be clicking this cancel right here and changing it to just F. And then this positive button here to F. Lowercase, keep that in mind. Let's exit out of that. Go back to the first person controller. Scroll down. And we can start assigning our sound effects and game object. For the game object, it's that light we created. I will also be click and dragging the sound on and off for the flashlight. In the actual editor themselves, I'm going to select both these sound effects for the flashlight, put them into the editor, and like usual, I'm just going to bring them over to where our character is. It doesn't have to be 100% on the character. As long as it's near him, that's perfectly fine. Let's open our sounds tab that we have inside of our player right here, and we can just click and drag those under. Make sure play on wake is ticked off, and then we'll just assign those to the flashlight script like so. Maximize on play, play the game. We're going to notice the flashlight is turned off, but if we press F, it turns on. Perfect. Press F again, turns off. Perfect. And we can do this as much as we want. Like I said, it's a very simple script, very easy to use, very versatile. This is how I'm going to keep it for right now, you guys. Uh, maybe later on when we get into the game more. We can set up a battery and lifetime type of system. So pretty much we could tell the flashlight it can be turned on for, say, 60 seconds and then it turns off. And if we find another battery, it recharges and has another 60 seconds to it. For right now, you guys, I'm going to end the tutorial right here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick and easy little flashlight system. If you guys have any suggestions for future uploads, please leave it in the comment section down below. I've said it once and I'll say it again you guys, there's a link in the description to all the scripts, models, and sound effects I use throughout this tutorial series for you guys to download. With all that being said guys, remember to drop me a like, subscribe if you're new, click that notification bell, and this is user one Production signing off for now. I'll catch you all in the next tutorial. Peace.